Malo and welcome to Season 2, Episode 91 of Breakfast Bites by Tevovosports.com. A wrap of Pacifica people's sports on this beautiful, bright and sunny Thursday morning, 29th September 2022. Coming to you from Paradise in the, on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And we start with Rugby. While Dali M winner Roger Tuivasa Sheikh's switch to rugby union has been largely successful, earning two All Blacks caps off the bench and helping the Blues reach the Super Rugby Pacific final, RTS has been linked with a bombshell return to the NRL with the Sydney Roosters. Staying with rugby league. The biggest winner at the NRL Awards Night in Sydney last night was Sharks halfback Nico Hines, who capped a sensational season, snatching the 2022 Dally M Medal for Player of the Year. Hines won it by the highest tally in the award's 43-year history, finishing on 38 votes, ahead of Roosters fullback James Tedesco on 33 and Dragons halfback Ben Hunt on 32. Sheriff Todd Payton picked up Coach of the Year for the Cowboys. In football, Denmark will wear team jerseys at the FIFA World Cup that protest the human rights record of host nation Qatar with a black option, the colour of mourning, unveiled yesterday to honour migrant workers who died during construction work for the tournament. In boxing, Ukrainian flyweight fighter Marina Moroz, with a record of 11 wins and 3 losses, so she's a fair dinkum fighter, will be the first UFC fighter to feature as a Playboy centerfold. Playboy is super big for me. I can't wait to partner up with such an iconic brand with all my exclusive content, Moroz said. Hmm, I wonder how many guys will check out her next fight versus Jennifer, Jennifer Meyer on UFC 215 on the 19th of November in Las Vegas. Book my tickets on potemovosports.com. I'm Colin Kamir. Mahalo, vina'a, and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all to us for all your love and support.